Okay, what this process here does is it is saying, assume the treatment does not make a difference. Okay, assume the treatment does not make a difference. So those 13 times there uh, could have been for somebody wearing a scented mask, somebody not wearing a scented mask. So what you did when you wrote it on a slip of paper and mixed it up and just randomly pulled seven, is you're saying, it doesn't matter whether this person wore that mask or not. This is the time that they would have gotten anyways. Um, so let's randomly assign these times to a treatment. Now, if we look at these results, most of them were negative. So we did unscented minus scented. So if it's negative, which average was higher? Which average was higher, the unscented or the scented average? The scented. That means that it took the people wearing the scented mask longer. Um, but according to the data there, most of them uh, took less time. So obviously this would take a really, really, really long time to do this bunch of times, okay? Um, so what we can do is there's a statistical tool called a randomization distribution, okay? Um, now, unfortunately, I'm, I think I'm going to take us to the computer lab on Friday because we can't do this on the Chromebooks. Uh, it doesn't work on those. Um, but I do have it on my computer, so I can show you what happens here. Um, so what we've got is I've got the data for the unscented versus the scented. Uh, this is the uh, difference, the way that it is right now. Okay, this is the population difference. This is the actual data. That was the difference in their means, unscented minus scented. Uh, now, what the book says is that uh, that graph that you see there, it's very blurry. Um, it shows a thousand runs. So it, it's doing exactly what you guys just did a thousand times. Now, obviously, that would take us a really long time to do that. Um, so I'm going to conduct a thousand runs here. And here are the results. Okay, so when they mixed them up, jumbled them together, subtracted the unscented average versus the scented average, these are the results they got here. Now, this is an histogram. Okay. Um, just to make sure, and uh, this is what people struggled with last year. I assumed that we knew how to read the histogram, but uh, I, that was, I just needed to explain it. Okay? Um, this is representing how many times that result happens. Okay? So you'll see over here, these numbers on the vertical axis are representing the frequency. Um, so according to this, let's see here, we have a scale of three. So there were about, I would say about 10 results where the unscented mean minus the scented mean was between negative 19 and negative 22. Okay, there were about 10 results of that. Um, here I would say there were about 25 results where the scented mean versus, or the unscented versus scented was between negative 19 and negative 16. Okay, so that's how we read this. So to determine whether this actually made a difference or not, um, we've got to determine whether this was extreme or not. Well, how do we determine whether it's extreme? Looking at this graph, would you consider this population difference right here, okay, that's about right here on this line, would you consider that an extreme result? Without me telling you a mathematical way to determine, just looking at it, would you say that that's extreme? What does it mean for something to be extreme? Is it like everybody else? No, it's kind of, it's on the fringes, right? Is this closer to the fringes or is it closer to where you see the majority of the data here in the middle? It's kind of closer to the middle. I mean, look at all these, you're talking like 130 out of a thousand that's between what, negative one and negative four. Uh, same thing between negative one and positive two. So you're talking about, you know, a quarter of the results are in this range right here. Similarly, when we get up here towards uh, a difference of eight, which is what ours was, ours was just above eight, you're talking about the bulk of the data right here. When we're looking at a randomization distribution, um, what you're looking for um, 
is for it to be on the outer edges. Okay, so if we look at E, it says which of the following is the best conclusion? The better conclusion is that second option. It says it's quite plausible that the scent does not affect the time to complete the maze because it's closer to the middle of this data for this randomization distribution. Okay, um, so here are the steps. Uh, here are the steps for completing a randomization test. Okay, it is not super important that you memorize all of those, but we do need to know step three and step four. Okay, step three and step four. Step three, and this is on the, you flip your paper over, the steps are on there. Step three says locate the difference from the actual experiment on the distribution you generated in step two. Well, we're not going to generate it. Okay, it's going to be given. Um, so it'll be given. You may want to like mark that out. It will be given in step two. I will always give you the distribution. Uh, we are going to hopefully uh, practice this on Friday where you'll be able to work with this stuff so you may generate it. Um, but usually I'm going to give it to you. So you locate it and step four, here's the important part. If the difference from the actual experiment is in the outer 5% of the distribution, this is the key, the outer 5% is the key, then we consider it statistically significant. If it's in the outer 5%, it is statistically significant. Um, so we're talking, um, if you've got a thousand runs, 5% of a thousand I always mess this up if I'm not careful. 5% of 1,000 is 50. So that means um, 25 on the upper end or 25 on the lower end. It's your difference has to be within those extremes. It has to be in the upper 25 results or the lower 25 results to be considered statistically significant. Otherwise, then your data um, is not statistically significant and um, the difference could be contributed solely to the random assignment. Okay, so in order to say that it's statistically significant, it's got to be in the outer 5%. So you split that on the, the two ends. Um, so if it's 500 runs, then you're talking in the upper 12, lower 12 is where your difference has got to be. Um, so we will look